Right. Hi guys, let's go to Act 4, shall we? So, like I said, I've seen like the first area of this place. Um, I can't remember which character. Oh yeah, after my character died, the hardcore one, you don't sort of like, it doesn't get deleted, it's just a standard, so... I finished off killing the boss and then just came into this area and then I was like, you know what, playing on the normal character isn't that much fun. Um, like, yeah, I wanted a normal character, I'd have made one, but I wanted, like, something with a unique twist to it. So, here we are. We've got so much fucking damage. Like, 625 DPS. God damn. Nothing stands a chance here. But yeah, these are new mobs. I don't have much to say about them, because I don't really know much about them. See, slay any rare infested thing or other. I'm even getting like achievements, like newbie achievements. Um, I do know the last time I was in this area though, there was like a weird walkway thing. And... Um, oh my god, 650 DPS now. It's mental. Um, I love that wand. Fire damage to spells, holy shit. Considering we're using fire damage as well, it's just so good. Am I gonna get a thing for him? Nope, apparently not. Superior Sage Wand. With one blue socket, we could potentially do. Um, two to seven damage. It would have to be that one would replace. 561. Like, no. Like, see, that's just, like, that one just had, like, an extra 100 DPS. Just do that. Open those baskets. But yeah, all this content is new to me. Probably, well, I'm probably going to talk quite a bit because it's like, I don't know, new, exciting. I can give my thoughts on it and stuff. But yeah, like I said, there were like pathways off and each pathway had like a blue monster on it. Maybe it's these little boat things that I'm kind of running past accidentally. Fusing orb, nice. Yoink. Oh, I need to use clarity. I'll just cast a mana potion, then I can use clarity. And then I won't need to use a mana potion. Um, Act 4 Town is a little weird as well. Um, oh god. Rare items do I want? Ooh, another wand. Sultan. Hmm. Blue and a blue. Wait, I could replace either wand. But anyway. So, 650 caller. 650. My ones are currently a lot better. Um, yeah, so there was this boss, like this giant moth thingy. I guess I just have to keep toe. It's just kind of like any other boss sort of thing. Just keep your totems up, keep them well spaced out, and kick its ass. Um, but we haven't got these achievements in these leagues, which is why they're coming up now. The Carrion Crow, ooh, our first, like, card, um, which are a bit hard to explain, so I don't fully know what to do properly yet, but you trade them in for stuff. I think you collect so many and you get, like, s something back in, for, in like, return for them. And I need to use Mana Pot to cast Pot in Clarity again. 
Got the fuse in, very nice. Oh my god. I think in a long fight my summons probably do more damage than the other stuff. Because I can just hold them in place. Do I need to actually go down there or is this the wrong way? I'm not sure now which is the right or which is the wrong way. Oh, well, this is apparently the right way. Here's the town. So, Highgate, Act 4 town. Um, I didn't do any quests or anything in here, because I kind of like, just realised I was bored of the character. Although I did speak to everybody in town, and sort of like, yeah, just got to know what each person ha has. We need to start looking now every level for five links because five links are worth a lot of currency. Um, they're all right currency as well, I guess. Um, but yeah, five links, man, are where it's at. Um, I'll put my... My cards and jewels, I guess, could have their own page at some point, but... See ya. He had items as well. Take care. And, yeah. Oh yeah, there's these two up here, and then I've got to run all the way back round to talk to Tsune. Don't die. Go where you are um, again, if you want to like read the dialogue and the story and stuff, um, then like feel free to like play along and. You can listen to it when you get here. I've showed you how. Where is it? This is the problem I had last time. I think, is it across this river? Yeah, it is. And there's the waypoint. And to Suni. Yeah, he's the one who trades divin like the divination cards. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what it looked like to my eyes. And I need to sell yeah. the sell to her. Be careful. Um, I am going to go back to a Act 3. But Jay, this is boring. I'm sorry, I need to look for five links. You don't understand. That guy looks pretty cool. See if this guy has five links. Nope, he doesn't, but he has one of those. Get you useful. Nope, he seems to just have four links. But then again, yeah, he doesn't even have like five socketed stuff, so perhaps I'm either unlucky or he doesn't actually do them. Kind of like difficult to tell, to be honest. But, um, let's go to high gear. And we need to head down this way, apparently. We can't go through the other way. So the dried lake, I've never been in this area. I don't know what mobs are in here or anything about it. So from this point out, it's blind again. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. So, let's hug the left wall. Seems like an all right little area for farming. They're always in the middle. Um, yeah, it's not too bad of an area. Reminds me of like um, Game of Thrones. Oh, right, I see. There's a boss one. I was kind of like a bit like wondering about this. But... Oh my god, he's. He is just standing and like fighting, which is pretty good for me. 
good grief. Vigilant strike, protects him with cool. Oh. That's cool. So we have killed this unique boss. Um, let's just stand in this and hope they not die. I also want to check is there a waypoint in here? There isn't, right? So I don't need to look for a waypoint. I can just literally like, get the hell out of here. The enemies flying from the sky and like diving you are pretty interesting. I don't know any places in Ankhor to farm, so I can't really like give much um, advice on them. I used to have found that though. Um, minions have 10 percent move speed, and that is going to be so nice on like a summoner class. I don't know exactly how much it'd be worth. Probably not going to trade though with this character, um, unless I absolutely have to because. I want this like character to be sort of like, look, you can um, do this on your own. You don't need extra items. If you can get like people to trade with and stuff, that's all very fine and dandy. But you don't need them. Flame totem goes from 650 to 750. My God, that's so much damage. It's incredible. And two of them as well. I don't even come near me, you guys don't stand a chance. Well, that little ants. So yeah, we're starting to find like trading cards and stuff, well, divin yeah, divination cards or whatever we're going to pronounce it as. Um, we're starting to potentially find five links. Find a way into the mountain. Superior remote mine, 7%, nice. I could make that into a very good armor. Too bad that's going to go. Oh my god. Well. Okay, well, I've got a feeling there's a boss in there from the sound thing. Oh, he's huge. Ow. So he has a charge. I guess, yeah, just don't stand still. Like, again, he's the standard sort of boss, so just drop our totems. And just run. I'm just gonna run random in circles. Running back and forth, I can still get hit. Cool. Purifier achievement. Iron hat as well. Travel to Highgate. We need to find a way into the mountain. Oh, isn't that what we've just literally done? But, yeah, with this being new content, I'm probably going to just run all the way up the coast again. And kill shit. Because one, it's new and interesting, and two, XP. Not much XP, though, to be fair, but... Yeah, yeah that's better than nothing.
I'm finding sort of gems that I've never seen before as well. I think my highest coach was at two merciless. Like, which is the hell difficulty if we're comparing it to Diablo or like the third difficulty. Let's check a thing either side. We'll identify it. Cast lightning storm. See, that's kind of like shitty. 38% quantity. Cast fire storm. You know what? Let's go with it. So there's going to be more quantity of items dropped from this, which is, again, nice. And it wasn't like we spent lots of currency on it. Probably worth it in the amount of currency we exchanged for it, but we did get a bit lucky. How many ways in and out of this area is there? Just the one. I've got a feeling this could be like an area you've farm but it's kind of like a little bit too like near the start of the act for it to be probably that good then saying that look at my experience bar I gained a lot and I can imagine people do laps of it and yes. did we gain a level be careful what is it exile I can't remember if we did or not I'm gonna check anyway just in case. Maybe we did because I can't remember that being there. Or oh, that one. But yeah, there is no five linkerinos. Oh god, I've got a lot of support gems now. Superior remote mine, I'll put that down there because it's superior. Faster casting? I don't have any blue sockets that are spare. It's added lightning damage. The jewels thing. I'm not going to sort of like hog every jewel that I am doing at the minute, but I will eventually sort of like, yeah, eventually get a bit more like strict with them. Talk to Uyan. Who the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Oh, he was right at the top, weren't he? I kind of want to do this just because I do want to see what the quest rewards are and secondly I want to um, get as many passive points as I can to get blood magic. Summon chaos golem, ice golem, this will cry. I have to use this. And I also want to steal that minion damage, put that in there. And then I want to use the other minion damage that we have in our stash for the summon raging spirit thing. Where is it? Gems, it was a blue one. Minion damage, chuck that in there. Um, so, um, instead of that being rallying cry, we will have that. Oops. Yeah. There we go. 
Right, what's the timer? 20 minutes. So, yeah, join me, guys, when we will be heading into the mines in the next episode. So, I will see you guys then.